I don't know which way it goes though. Take one. <laughs> all know who I am and if you guys don't know who she is which I think a lot of people probably already yeah, do probably. this is Gabe's technically girlfriend basically wife <laughs> we decided that we were going to do it was actually your idea yeah to do a video well people like ask me questions or comment on my stuff all the time so I figured I not just might as well make a video just to answer just everybody's questions because people are always asking <laughs> who I am or like who's that girl with Gabe yeah. me and Gabe have been dating for a couple years um, yeah, a long time. Yeah, we've no I've right. known him since like 2011. Which is yeah. like right after that is Lilia, kind of. It is right yeah. after. Yeah, yeah, she was a year, only um, a year old. Okay, so we decided <laughs> oh, oh, Yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> we decided that we were going to make a video all about being a stepmom. Just like, I don't know, talking about our experience with it. And we just posted on Instagram if you don't follow us on there. My Instagram is linked below and I'll link her Instagram below if you don't mind. No. Okay. <laughs> so if you're already following us, you already saw that we posted asking you guys what you guys want to know. If there's any like questions that you guys have. But first, we wanted to talk about an article that she came across and she sent it to me and I was like, that is the best thing I've ever read. Like it had so many good points in it and I don't know. I guess because she's Lilia's stepmom. I am a stepmom so and I have to deal with step other step parents on like both sides so I feel like I'm kind of like I don't know, I'm on both ends of it. Yeah. So I just thought this would be fitting, like to get two two different people's perspectives, like on both ends, and kind of talk about it from there. So we found this article and I will link it below, but it's from bigblendedfamily.com. We're not like associated with them. We just came yeah. across it and thought it was a good article to read. I guess we'll just like what, read the points and yeah, just kind of kind of talk about it? Yeah. So let's better. do that. Okay. So it first talks about some suggestions on how to begin a new relationship with the other mother in your child's life. So I guess overall, how did you feel about me? <laughs> um, when we first met, I remember that I met your kids before I met you. You did? Yeah. When? Well, it was you at your mom's house and... Oh, were you picking up Lilia or something? I think we were dropping her off. We stayed outside and we talked with your mom because the kids are playing. And outside. my mom's like, and the I think easiest that, yeah. person to get along. I think that like world. you were, you were. I don't know. I think you were. Atlanta was a little baby. I think. I think you're in the house. With oh, him. so I just didn't come out. Yeah. Oh, that part so, was. I don't even remember. Like, <laughs> so I, like I met all the other kids before <laughs> I met you. Where you're like, dang, this girl has a lot of. Kids. I don't even. Yeah, I was like, oh, it's like a school out here. <laughs> I don't even remember like the first time that we actually met because I. Feel I like, really don't either. I honestly can't remember the first time that we actually introduce yeah. ourselves to I each think other. it was just like we've already known each other for so yeah. long. Yeah. It was kind of just like, just like it wasn't awkward. It was kind of like I don't remember it being awkward. I, and I, I know like there's so much alike. We I think we are that's the thing. Yeah. Like with us it's kind of different. Like even if for some reason like you and Gabe weren't together like we're like friends now. Yeah. So it's like, so it'd be like <laughs> that's why it's so easy was. for us to like sit down and record a video. Don't expect your relationship with the other person whether it's like you're a guy and it's a stepdad or like you're a girl and it's a stepmom it doesn't have to be like this yeah, like this not could always be gonna weird. be people think that it's weird but you know why it was not awkward though like if it was awkward we would have remembered it yeah but like awkward. since it was so far gone like no feelings between me and him i didn't yeah. care i didn't care in a sense that like i didn't care that he was in a relationship with somebody else and we're really lucky to be able to have that like you can't like expect necessarily to have this kind of relationship with like the other person whether it's like a the other dad or whatever we got really lucky with it because like yeah. on the other end I have to deal with the boys dad's girlfriend also and then she has a kid with him too but you were pointing out too that I don't really have to deal with them yeah, that, much. that much like Gabe gets Lily all the time yeah so I see her and then like Right now, we're they're all swimming outside. Like we're, yeah. Chris and Gabe are hanging out yeah. in the backyard right now, and it's not weird. Well, like you know? for me, like I have full custody of Logan. So, yeah. Like I don't have you don't to, have deal to deal with, with the either. other side. So like I don't know from that point of view. Right. I just know for like this point of view. Yeah. But even like before me and Gabe started dating, like I remember him like picking him up from your house or dropping him off. Yeah. I feel like naturally like someone would be like, oh, Jill, or oh, what's going on, or oh, whatever. Yeah. I don't think I never thought like that. It was kind of just like. 
I well, think his he, daughter's there, so obviously yeah. he's there. Like, I, my mind never went there. Like, I wasn't like, oh, they're doing something. You guys have been, like, not together for yeah. so long. Well, and you're mature, and yeah. I'm mature. And to, in a sense that, like, you have to get past a level of, like, immaturity, you know? Yeah. To be able to deal with somebody who's in your child's life a lot. Yeah. And it's so much easier when you can just let that go because I, that is something I did have to deal with yeah. for the longest time like especially being so soon like in from the other perspective the boy's dad when he I mean immediately we split up he had a new girlfriend yeah. and that was hard that was really hard and it's like you don't you, you have to have you have to be able to heal from the relationship before you to be before able to actually to like get along it. yeah and accept that there's gonna be another person in your child's life you can't feel bad that you need to have that time you still need to be civil though you can't be well because children they know they know they know, oh, they, know. they can they can sense anger they can sense <laughs> hatred they can sense right. everything yeah and in the long run i feel like it's better for the kids for everybody to get along yeah because 100 percent. regardless of if 100%. that person's in a relationship or not that's somebody that's their family okay here's another perspective my parents were divorced growing up. Were your, your parents? Are my parents were divorced when I was like middle school, but they never like remarried. Or okay. Anything. See, my parents so. divorced. They both remarried. They both were happily remarried, and they always, always, always got along. They always. It was like us. Like yeah. they always went to everybody's family events, like or like the graduations and dance things and stuff like that. And that I never sensed the tension between my parents, and I never felt like I missed out. I never felt like I wish that my parents had stayed together. Yeah. Because that can mess up a child oh, yeah. a lot too. Oh, like big they time. feel like it's their fault, or yeah. they feel put all the blame on themselves, especially yeah. when they get older. I think that's normal, and um, especially if you're putting the stress on the child of you better not be calling her mom, yeah, or you better not be calling him dad, like that kind of stuff. And then they feel a pressure, like I'm not yeah. supposed to act. And this it's way. like, who cares what they call him? Like you're their biological mom. They know who you are. <laughs> like it's just somebody else. I always viewed it exactly. Exactly what I was gonna say. Yeah. And there was a point in this article, which we still have to hear. Like, 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 we just keep rambling, rambling and talking about our about experience. It. There was a point in this article that I thought was perfect, and it said to deal with your uh, your ex spouses or like children's dads partner like a business relationship like that's how and I thought that that was a good way if you can't be like this like friendly yeah, with friends. each other which I mean hopefully everybody will get to a point where they're yeah. at least able to sit in the same room with each other and say hi and yeah. like how was your day or whatever don't do the whole like bitch better not be coming up to my yeah. doorstep like and yeah. wanting to yeah. fight because that's not good for the fight. kids it's like not. if you don't like their significant other. Like there's a point on here that says, do not badmouth your ex oh, or their spouse. So big. So they have that into anybody, too. even your friends. This is the way that I looked at it growing up. But your child is half of whoever you're bad talking. So if you're saying, your dad is such an a-hole, yeah. then at some point they're gonna be like, I guess I'm a hey ho, I'm yeah. really, that's yeah. my dad, that's my genetics, like, yeah. and it might not be like, it'll be like subconsciously, but yeah. still, like, to badmouth the other person in front of the children, or like, where they can hear it, or see it, or whatever, yeah. is just bad news, bad news, and the same goes for their partner, yeah. spouse, whatever, you're allowed to dislike that yeah. person, you are allowed to hate them with a passion, but you need to, for the sake of the children, not show that to them. <laughs> <laughs> as long as your child's not like in danger, if it's like a safety yeah. issue, that's, that's different. Totally different. Like totally if it's different. just like you should, you just concerned. don't like them. <laughs> I mean, like you have the right. You're to not allowed like to them, not like the other person, but Absolutely. you need to be careful because just because you don't like them doesn't mean your child can't like them. Yes. Like your child shouldn't have to. Feel I like they always have to hate wished the other person. I wished that, like when Gabe and I split up, that I they would be able to be another person in her life that loved her, the way that he loves her, the way that I love her, like, you can never have too many people in a child's life that loves them too much. Like, no, you're not allowed to have that person love you. Yeah. As long as they are doing nothing but being nice to your child and, I mean, like, being a positive role model in their life, you should be thankful for that. And that is something that I think everybody knows, but there's just, it's just hard for a lot of people to get to that point. It takes a long time for people sometimes to like be able to 
I don't know. Yeah. See, Get like her. for our case, she has other children. Yeah. And like, like Logan she has another son too. Do we yeah. even say that? What, she Logan? Has, yeah, I guess we were talking about I have about one. Like, so she Logan. has one son from a previous relationship. And then her and Gabe don't have any together. No. Yet. 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 <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> Logan's my only child, so he's been an only child. So when me and Gabe started dating, it's like he like had a, a new, whole another yeah, dynamic. He had too. a new sibling. But then also, like coming here, it's like he has other siblings yeah. as well. Like he has all the boys. And we're they all love each other. To be able, even we're like so Chris's lucky. boys. Like yeah. Chris's boys love Logan. Logan yes. loves them. Logan they get loves along so well. The twins and Landon, like everyone gets along. And I feel like that's a reflection of the way that we all act with yeah. each other. Do they even understand? Like they, they probably, probably don't know. even like we're just one big happy family, yeah. pretty much. It's like I'm I she's the parent to my kids and I'm the parent to hers. Yeah. And it's like just not one even just Lilia, it's, no, like, it's everybody. like everybody. It's like, like everybody is all... just but I know from the other perspective, like dealing with other yeah. people, I can still feel, I know the tension feeling, yeah. and I know how it can be hard. And then on the other hand, I mean, I'm a stepmom too, so I have Chris's ex-wife to deal with, and then I have, like, Drake's girlfriend to deal with, yeah. and it's like, there's, I, it's, I don't know, it's so different in every single situation, and the main thing that it comes down to is maturity between the two parties, and it's like, if you guys can both achieve maturity, then you can achieve a decent enough relationship to be able to get through the 18 years that you need to get through. And it's really longer than yeah. that though. People yeah. always say like, I only have to there's deal with There's college these graduations, years. there's marriage, marriage kids, grandkids. Like it's oh. more than just the 18 years. It's forever, it's a lifetime. My biological dad, I call Papa, and my stepdad, they get along perfectly fine. And they still deal with each other, obviously. I mean, I have kids, they come around, and they're all perfectly fine with each other. I've always called my stepdad dad because he was just, uh, I don't know. I just always have. I think it's because I saw his kids calling him dad. I've, I've never sensed tension, and I don't know, maybe early on I was really young, so maybe yeah. there was. This one, if your child gets along with their stepmother, be yeah. happy. And that is so true, no matter how much you yeah. hate that person. I know the feeling. I do. I really do. Oh, okay. uh, this one's good too. Like, like, she has to work much harder on the relationship with your children without stepping on your yes. toes, without trying to replace you, without... Right playing favorites with her own children. That is so hard. That yeah. is really hard. Having children in your home, like I know because I have Chris's kids that are here and my kids that are here, you have to treat them all the same. Yeah. You can't same favor rules, your child. Everything. Same rules, it doesn't matter. Yeah, there's the same rules. Nobody gets away with anything just because it's this, that, or whatever. But at the same time, you don't want to like push so, like the children who are not there a lot away either and yeah. think that this is the best. It's hard, it's, a, it's a hard balance. Because like keep. Chris doesn't have his kids all the time. Exactly. And then Gabe has Lilia only like every other every weekend, weekend and, and then more. Depends. Yeah, depending. And then we have Logan all the time and then you have your other kids all exactly. the time. Exactly. <laughs> this article is really good for those. Yeah, go who, read it. Yeah, because <laughs> the there's article. not much, like we're not experts. You just have our experience. Easy, but it's a good read. It's not even that long. Yeah, it's but not just the points are like, I feel like we're just like saying them again. We're just yeah, like, they're we're just, like yes, yes, yeah. yes. It's definitely worth reading, so yes. go check it out. Are we going to Instagram? Yeah. Oh gosh. Well, oh. We asked you guys to ask us questions, so I guess we're gonna go. Let's go. Everyone's like liking my old pictures. <laughs> <laughs> There's like some people who go back to like one of my first pictures. I'm like that was so long ago. Like who goes through that? <laughs> There's 132 comments, and I just posted it. First impressions of each other. That's the first one. That's yeah, on that's there. one that and we can't, can't really remember. remember. But I know it wasn't bad. Yeah. We probably would have been friends if it wasn't. I know if we would have it because like if we went to the same school. Yeah, if we met like, each we other somewhere else. Would've, we probably would have been <laughs> friends regardless. Yeah. Cool idea. Okay. Yeah. Do you feel there's any boundaries you have to be careful about with being a step parent? I definitely think so. Yeah. I feel like one of the biggest boundaries is like discipline. Oh, 100%. Why? Discipline is... That's yeah. exactly, I completely agree with that. And my point of view from being a stepmom, so like being a stepmom to Chris's kids, I don't do discipline. Yeah. That I leave, I leave up it to, to yeah. him. I do the same thing. As much as I can. I mean, if it's something where somebody's getting hurt and he's not there, that's obviously a little yeah. different. But like, for the most part, that's something that, that's a line that I don't want to cross, yeah. you know? I think the most important thing is establishing a relationship with that child before you can, you need their respect before yeah. you can do that kind of thing. And even when you have it, I feel like 
it's still not yeah. my and, like you have to be careful with that too because like there are situations where like Lily is over for whatever reason like I don't like to do the the the, 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 no, <laughs> the discipline with her and like Logan will see that he's like well why is it, why too. isn't Lilia getting in mm -hmm. trouble or how come like I get in trouble and Lilia doesn't well because he's my child so like I'm comfortable yeah. disciplining him exactly or whatever that's so, another thing where it's like you have to treat all the kids the same exactly. because they see the di they'll see the differences they, like, they see it they notice it. So like I'm just like Gabe can discipline the most. Yes. <laughs> well, it's easy for him too because you guys have Logan 24/7. Yeah, so he basically yeah. and is Gabe, dad. yeah, Gabe is the father figure. Ex and exactly. Life. And that's kind of so, how Chris is with the boys too. We have the boys, my three boys. What is it? 99% yeah. of the time, yeah, 99% of the time they only leave for a couple hours like each month. And so I mean, they're really he is the main father figure yeah. in their life. I feel like being a stepdad, it's definitely not easier. It's a lot different than being a stepmom, especially yeah. with this custody schedule like that we have. Someone asked me, is it awkward being friends with Gabe's ex? No. I don't, I don't like see, with each other. Yeah, I don't no, see. No, it's not weird at all. I don't see her as Gabe's ex. I see her as Lily's mom. That's exactly, yeah. <laughs> and so. it's like, I don't see as, as, even though me and Gabe were together for a long yeah. time, I it's don't. Like, you've been married since like thing. that. You yeah, had there's kids. been so much that happened. Like I feel like we were always ever just really good friends. Yeah. And it, I don't know. I guess I'm like agreeing with you. No, I don't even know. I don't know. know. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you guys were just friends. Yeah. No, because I mean, they're they're obviously like we were together for a long time, but then we were able to get over that. Yeah. And now be, just be really good friends, which makes it a lot like it makes it not awkward for yeah. us because there's nothing there, and it's not awkward for Chris and Gabe either because yeah. they know that there's nothing there. Yeah. Does Lilia call Amber mom? Or just Amber and do you like being a stepmom? Does she ever call you mom? No, she calls me Amber. She calls you Amber. Yeah. She just said she didn't she didn't even call me a stepmom for the first time until the other day. Like she told me she loved me for the first time. And we've been together me and Gabe have been together for a couple years. But like I've always felt like awkward, like where it's like, oh I'm not just gonna first. say it. Yeah. Like kind of like, <laughs> like when you're in a relationship. She's, she's been said, I think because she's so Lily is so like logical. Like if you're when you're married, you're my stepmother. Yeah. So for the longest time, I'd say something along the lines of, "Well, you have Logan as your stepbrother too," and she goes, "Well, he's not my stepbrother yet yeah. because they're not." So they she still kind of has just brother. I mean, like Logan now, but yeah, that's sister. what I'm saying. Is recently, like this past probably like six months or so, she's been really like my brother. Yeah. My, like when we, the other day when we were at swim lesson, she was saying my stepbrother who was yeah. in the class. But no, she just calls me Amber. I don't expect her to call me mom. If she wanted to, it's whatever. But yeah, but she, and I wouldn't mind. Her Honestly, yeah, I really was calling me Amber. I mean, like some people will call them dad. Some people will I call did. My I name. called my. It's really call them dad. whatever. It's like you know they know, they know who their real mom is. They know who their that's, real that's dad what is. That's what it doesn't even matter. Like your title doesn't matter. Yeah. Whether you're Jessica, mom, Amber, mom, yeah. you are a very important person in their life that they love, and your title shouldn't matter to the other parent. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, but she's it's not your mom, I'm your yeah. mom. Yeah, and they're I, not there to take your place. They're, and they're yeah. temporary for when the and kid is not with you. If they're a good stepmom, then they will make that clear. Yeah. Like to Tommy and Kaden, I always talk about their mom and how much their mom loves them and talk about like, I never, ever, ever make it to where it's like I'm replacing yeah. her. It's never like that. And they do call me mom a lot of the time. They call me mom. I, sometimes they call me Jessica, sometimes they call me mom, but the thing is when you have a ton of other kids yeah, running around saying mom, mom, and that that's why they also, started doing it. when they're over here, you're their mother figure, figure. This is what I feel. I feel like whatever the child is comfortable calling the other person is what you should be comfortable yeah. calling. You know, like, it's not my decision what Lilia calls her. Yeah. It's her decision. It's her, it's what she wants. And that's all that matters is what, yeah. if she's happy. Like, Logan calls Gabe, Gabe. But occasionally he'll call him dad. Like for him, it's just like, oh, when we get married, then same we thing. Because they're older. So see, like all of our littles that are here, they're all the like, little mom, ones dad, are like, mom, mom dad, mom. Landon mom, has, dad. Landon has called, called her mom. mom. So like, <laughs> it's just a name. It's just a name. <laughs> so it doesn't define your relationship. And yes, I like being a stepmom. Oh yeah, that was the other one. Yeah. <laughs> How do you establish boundaries? I feel like that's something that you have to talk about with your husband. Or boyfriend or whatever, like who the or like the even father. all together or all together, yeah. yeah, definitely. Like for us, we don't really have to talk about it because I don't. feel like we don't really have to discipline that much. Yeah, we we have good kids. Yeah, They're like <laughs> so we, I mean, mostly it's just like, okay, are you listening? And then that's pretty much yeah. it. So like when I was growing up with my stepdad 
and my mom, my stepdad would just let my mom be the mom and then he was just there to love me and support me. And yeah. that's kind of like where it ended. There are certain circumstances where like the child yeah. doesn't yeah. have the other parent. Exactly. So like, like in your situation. Yeah, where my situation and like He doesn't yours, have a real dad. dad. Gabe has to be more of a father figure than a step parent to Logan um, just because like we have Logan all the time and like in your case like Chris has to be a, like more of a, of a father, father to, figure to yeah. boys than a step because I feel like there could be there is a difference between there right. between step and regular father there is um, it's a lot of balance and it's yeah. a lot of it, it like when you have to deal with the other parent that is involved so like Tommy and Caden's mom is in their life very, very much yeah. so. Loves them, cares about them. I can't be the one. I don't. I don't want to step on her toes. I yeah. don't want to do anything wrong. But at the same time, we don't really have that communication, which I know a lot of people have been asking you about. And it's so hard for me because I try so hard to be like, like for us. Talk so, to people. For us, it's so easy to have <laughs> yeah. that communication. But like, it's not always. It's easy. not always that way. It's it's really not. Me and you, it's easy because I could go straight to you if I have a problem. Yeah. And we could talk to each other. Or you could, not that we ever even have problems. Yeah. But like, you come to me, I come to you, I see you a lot. In my situation of being a stepmom, Tommy and Caden live six hours away. So I almost never have contact with her. I never go with him to drop them off because I'm not gonna take a million years yeah. down there and drop yeah. them off. And so it's like, that makes it a lot harder. And I have offered several times to like, talk and be there here's my number here's my everything if you ever have any concerns and stuff like that but for the most part it's just like through them and they just deal with it and i stay out of it because yeah. i don't want to step on any toes you just every situation is so so different but then like in the other situation so with drake and his girlfriend i prefer to talk to her if i have to because me and her got along better than me and him did yeah. and so that's like and like with gate with me and you and gabe i feel like i could talk to you guys equally yeah. but like in that situation it was at a point where i felt i would feel more comfortable with her taking care of them and then i would with him taking yeah. care of them and that's kind of sad did chris's kids dislike you at first i mean nervous and worried about who you were maybe distant um Honestly, not really. I didn't go so into their young. life. They are so little. So I feel like, it's but it's not, not like I go in your life and I'm like, I'm your set mom. Yeah. Like this is who I am. Like you don't. You need to establish a friendship. You need to establish trust. You need to establish respect. You need to do all. There's like steps that you need to go through before you can actually achieve in their mind, uh, like to be a mother figure in their life. I mean, we. I've always got along with them. They've always got along with me. Our kids have always got along with each other. So we've just been really lucky in that sense. And we never even told them like oh, you can call her mom, yeah. or like, with my kids, we never said you can call him dad. They kind of just heard the other kids saying it and kind of like tested it out. Like it yeah. was kind of awkward the first couple times they said it. And like, when we weren't like, oh no, I'm not your mom or I'm not your dad, then they kind of just kept doing it. And that's what they're comfortable with. And that's what we're okay, we're okay with yeah. it too. So like my kids, the three boys call Chris dad, probably 90% of the time. They sometimes will say Chris, but 90% of the time they'll say dad. And Landon 100% of the yeah. time is dad. I mean, he's like pretty much the main slash only father figure for the most part that has been in his life. I feel like it's just names. Yeah, like it's like dad. everybody's so concerned about what you call. Oh, why are they calling you why mom? Are they, they have their own mom. It's it's okay to have more than, or call more, more than, than one person one mom. Because yeah. it's just a figure, it's just, Somebody, it's just a name. Yeah, that's all it is. It's, it's like not, I'm not gonna take. It's not like, oh, I'm your mom. You don't place. like. Yeah, and I don't expect to. I don't want to. I want to just be an additional person that loves them in their life and whatever they want to call me. That's fine with me. So let's talk about like um, loving that child. So like, when you give hugs, I guess, or kisses, or whatever. I mean. It's not weird to me. It's like I kiss him like, like your own child. Yeah. And I mean, if you think about like your friend's kid, you hug your friend's kid or yeah. kiss him on a tree. Girl, you're so cute. Or like whatever you're not, you're not mine. I'm so not it's not really you. awkward. No, I don't think that one's mm -hmm. awkward. Are you ever worried one child enjoys being with one parent over another? The kids get excited to go to both. Yeah. Like Lily gets excited to come home. Hopefully they And then, do. yeah, she's excited to come home because she has she brothers. She loves it's going cool. to her dad's house. And then they like. And I love yeah. seeing her loving like, to excited, go. Yeah. I love seeing Like that. we do different things at each house. Like, oh, they have I this remember here, they have that here. Yeah, I remember growing up and I loved going to my dad's house because he was Disneyland dad. <laughs> he took us to all the fun places and he did all the fun stuff. But when it's a situation where the child doesn't want to go, which I have been dealing with with the boys yeah. lately, that's really tough to be able to see that. But that's whenever the relationship with the other parent, like in, in that particular situation with the boy's dad, 
when they don't want to go which does happen a lot of the time even though they only go for a couple hours me and their stepmom position even though they're not married but like his girlfriend will be in contact she'll text me and say like they're okay they're fine so it's like that helps a lot to be yeah. able that's where like having a good relationship with that person comes in yeah. handy definitely it's all about like who, who, who calls, calls what? what? Yeah. Is that good? Does that, I don't feel like that doesn't no. really matter. Uh-uh. How would you react if Tommy and Caden's mother told them a lie about you? Oh, man. Well, oh, uh, yeah. No, that's, <laughs> that is hard. And that is something that I hope nobody has to go through, but I'm yeah. sure a lot of people yeah. do have to go through. My stepdad had to deal with that with his ex-wife. His ex-wife would tell his kids that my mom was this evil person and like was a witch and trying to like brainwash them. I mean, evil, evil, evil stuff. And they grew up since my mom and my stepdad were consistently just being like, you, you can't bad talk the other person because then you're just as bad as they are. You're saying, oh, well, she's just a liar and she's just that. You can't really approach it that way either. And when they're little, it sucks because they are like they look up to their mom and they look up to their dad and what they're saying they take into consideration and they like will develop their own feelings about somebody based off of what their mom is telling them and what their dad is telling them and my, like the way that my mom and stepdad handled it was to just tell them well honey like you know how we are to you like we you know that we love you we know that we do this if it was some like blatant lie I'd be like well you know that that's or not you yeah. know but like that it is that is isn't true kids more it just hurts the kids and then whoever is doing them. that is the lowest yeah. person because you're telling them something situation. about somebody that they care about and you're telling them yeah. something that's nasty or to make them mm -hmm. not like yeah. them and that's just and it's nasty. sad it's that's really not, sad that hurts and the kids more than it benefits you like my stepdad's kids that are grown now they have realized who was yeah who and was right and who was just, wrong it'll they'll hold resentment so it's like maybe in the future when they're older they're gonna be like well why yeah, did my why mom, did you say that why was she doing this or mm -hmm. doing that like they're gonna understand they will get to that point and yeah. it's hard when they're little and you can't be like because she's lying to you you can't say yeah. that to them she's it's a liar, liar. she's a liar <laughs> too much and like have it sound bad I just want to be like factual but like how do you guys co-parent in terms of buying things did you know who I was and how did you handle the spotlight 